Hello all, I'm Dr. Santosh Nagaonkar, Director of Department of Urology, Urological Cancer Surgery and Robotic Surgery. Today I'm going to discuss about screening methods for prostate cancer. Why is it important to have screening of prostate cancer? Many a times it has been said that prostate cancer will not kill anybody. Is that a true thing? I would say no. Because prostate cancer has been found to be quite vindictive and it can kill many people. Prostate cancer occurs only in men because the prostate gland is present only in men. Again, there are no symptoms in early stages of prostate cancer. Therefore, it is very important to identify this disease in early stages. And if it picked up early, it could be completely cured. So how can you screen for prostate cancer? Across the world, all the scientists have agreed upon that there are two or three tests which could be considered as screening methods for prostate cancer. And the simplest method is a blood test called PSA. This acronym stands for prostate specific antigen. This test is not 100% accurate for picking up prostate cancer. Having said that, it has got a very high sensitivity. And it's a very simple blood test. One can go to a laboratory and get this test done. You don't need to be fasting. This test is recommended after you turn 50. Prior to that, it is indicated only if you have a strong family history of prostate cancer. The results of this blood test could be made available within a few hours or even in a day or so. The other test which is very important and complementary to PSA test is physical examination of one's prostate. The physical examination is called digital rectal examination. This test is a little involving test as compared to any other clinical examination because the urologist has to examine patient's prostate from his backside. However, it takes only 30 seconds to perform this test, but it gives a lot of information. If your PSA test is normal and the prostate physical examination is normal, there is a good possibility that you are not carrying any prostate cancer cells. But if there is any abnormality found in one of these tests, then the urologist is going to recommend you the next test, which could be an MRI or a biopsy on your prostate gland. After doing the biopsy, you will know if there is any prostate cancer cells present in one's prostate and what kind of cancer it is and how aggressive it is. Therefore, it is very important to do screening of prostate and prostate cancer on a regular interval after you turn 50. Thank you.